Hi, uh, my name is Andrew, and just want to give a little quick brief intro on me before uh, before I jump into the content here. So, um, I'm a U.S. Marine veteran. I got out of the Marine Corps in 2020, right in the middle of uh, pandemic lockdowns and, and craziness, and um, I saw small businesses getting, uh, you know, getting getting absolutely um, absolutely hammered across the country and. Uh, and that was something that did not sit well with me because to me, that's the backbone of the American dream. Um, so since I got out of the military, you know, this, this is the way that I've kind of come to, to, um, to work back towards that problem and, and getting small businesses winning again. Um, so that brings me into what I want to talk about right now, which is basically how we can use your online presence to connect you to your customers so that you can grow your business in the way that you want to. Um, so as you can see right now, I'm taking a look at your website. Um, and just a few things I wanted to cover before we jump into the exact tips of how we can make your online presence um, a little bit stronger. Uh, one of the things I wanted to take a look at is these are these are basically Google searches, right? So um, roofing companies Phoenix gets searched about 700 times a month. Roof repair Phoenix 300. Roofing companies Phoenix AZ. And it goes on like this. Um, and you can see all these searches have have quite a quite a few people searching for them every month um, as you can imagine because I'm sure you work all over the valley and not just specifically in Phoenix um, Mesa roofing companies Mesa roof repair Tempe um, Glendale Gilbert Chandler Scottsdale you name it they, they all have significant search volume um, so you can see how it would be really important to capture a lot of the search data and bring it to your web page because that could very easily convert directly into leads and work for you guys. Um, so now that we've kind of given a little bit of context, let's go ahead and jump into how exactly we can actually make your make your page more accessible to customers. So first and foremost, I want to talk about content on your actual website. Um, one of the things that really helps is getting keywords that people search for um, on in the content on your website. This is a great example. You use roofing company in Phoenix AZ in your text right here. Um, that's a great example of what you want to be doing. Uh, what we would want to do um, to make it so that this site starts ranking for different keywords is use all these different keywords we we're looking at over here in the text um, as much as we can in a natural way so it doesn't appear that you know we're just stuffing those words in over and over. And of course, like we talked about, there's different locales in the valley. Um, and something I, I like to recommend is doing like a locations page where you can almost do like a little mini landing page for each location so that you can target that specific um, location on that page. You know, have a page for Mesa where you talk about Mesa roof repair, page for Tempe where you talk about Tempe roof repair, et cetera, in, in any locale in the valley where there's a significant amount of searches. Um, so, uh, just to, to kind of give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about, I did a quick Google here for Phoenix Roofers. Um, your first two competitors that popped up were Level 5 Roofing and Lions Roofing. So let's take a look at their sites. Um, as you can see, front and center, Phoenix is Roofing Experts. You know, that's a keyword that they're trying to get highlighted for right there. Um, <clears throat> roofing companies in Phoenix AZ. Uh, roofing Phoenix, Roofing Phoenix. So as you can see, um, Roofing Contractors in Phoenix, as you can see, these guys are using the keywords a lot. Um, basically, they're saying, hey, when people search for this, it indicates that they want to hire a roofer to work on their work on their roof. Um, so they say, hey, you know what, we're going to put that content on our page to make sure that Google knows that we are the people to put customers in contact with when they're searching for this. So this is a really good way to bring more customers to your page. Um, let's take a look at Lions. They're your other competitor that was ranked highly. <clears throat> um, roofing services in Phoenix, right here. Roofers in Phoenix, um, best roofers in the Phoenix area. Uh, again, you know, just as you go down the page, lot of different instances of these keywords. I'm sure they have more of them down here, but we don't need to go into all of it. You can you can get the general idea. Um, the idea is you want keywords uh, that people are searching for mixed into your content on your page. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about that also affects the rank of websites here within the Google search, something called backlinks. Um, so this is your domain. 
you have eight backlinks and, from two different referring domains. What that means is your site is being referenced from other domains, um, from two separate domains, and basically just somewhere on that, on that site, um, you have a reference, like your URL directing back to your, your site on their website. Uh, as you can see, unfortunately, there, there aren't any keywords that you're ranking for right now. Um, and a big part of that is because of what we just talked about with the content. Uh, you really, you, you want to add location-based keywords in your content so that when Google crawls web pages, um, they pick up on keywords that, that, you know, your website would be useful for. Um, and then another way to do that, like we're talking about right now, is by getting relevant backlinks. You can actually get backlinks that um, target specific keywords for sites, um, and that's a really good strategy to get you to rank for those, those keywords as well. Um, as a reference, these are the same two competitors. Here's level five. They have 1.2, um, 1,200 backlinks from 300 different referring domains. And as you can see, they rank for a lot of different keywords, 367. Um, this is Lions. They have even more, 2.3 thousand um, backlinks and almost 600 referring domains. And as a result, they have over 5,000 keywords that they're ranking for. So not necessarily this, it, you know, the number of keywords is a huge deal, but what you really want to do is identify the keywords for your service area that mean the buyer is trying to connect to a roofing company and you want to put your website as close to that buyer as you can so that, you know, they see you and they reach out to you and ideally you can help them out. Um, so that's the second thing. Second thing, second thing is getting backlinks to make it so that your site um, you know, basically is, is, um, is seen by Google as, as being, um, reliable because other sites are referring to it. The last thing I wanted to talk to you about <clears throat> is this little, this little blurb up here. We call this the map pack. Um, as you can see, this Google maps over here, usually when you search a service and a location like this, we could do this, you know, with, with Glendale, Mesa, um, any other area of Phoenix that we wanted to search, uh, uh, a service for. Generally, this is going to pop up. Um, and you can see here Phoenix Roofing Repair, Phoenix Roofers by Allstate, and Scout Roofing Co. Um, these are different companies from the two that rank here. So these rankings are influenced by the rankings of the website, but they're actually primarily, uh, they're primarily influenced by something called a citation. So what a citation is, is basically anytime your business name address and phone number appear together online. Um, as you can imagine, that would generally be in a directory of some sort. So like on yellowpages.com or Better Business Bureau. Um, <clears throat> so the best way you can get your company's name up here is to go in, see what citations these three companies in the top places are using. Make sure that your business also has a citation in that directory. And then additionally, go out and get some that they don't have so that you're not just staying even with them. You're actually going above and beyond and, 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 uh, and beating them. So to put those three things together, um, adding keyword rich content to your site, uh, adding some backlink power and adding citations so that you can get ranked in here as well is really going to get a lot more customer eyes on your website and, um, you know, we'll get you more contacts, which which as you could see with the numbers we were looking at over here for the keywords could very easily translate. You know, we're, we're talking about like just doing math off the top of my head here, but like 3000 um, searches a month just for Phoenix based keywords, you know? So if we start including um, other ones too, you know, we're, we're talking thousands and thousands of eyes on your page, which is going to translate into at least, you know, at, at very least, very conservative estimate, 10, 20, 30, 40, leads per month for you guys, which um, I would assume would be a lot a lot of new business coming in. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you'd like to know some more and and, uh, and maybe work with me, I'd be, I'd be absolutely happy to do that. Um, I read some of your reviews down here on your site. Your customers have awesome things to say about you. So um, you're exactly the kind of customer that, or the exact, the exact kind of company that that I would love to work with and help win. Um, if you don't want to work with me, I, that's that's totally all right too. And hopefully this information is still helpful to you so that you can get your website um, a little bit more high profile and, and bring more customers um, so that you guys can help them out. Uh, 
if you have any feedback for me, I'd love it. Uh, my email, uh, you can just email me right back at this email that I sent this from, but that's andrew at sovereignseo.agency. Or you can get me on my phone. Um, and my phone number is 623-276-6859. Thank you so much for your time.